Hi Lincoln School community and families. We got off to a fantastic start. Kids are learning, they're growing. But as we proceed into the school year, one thing that's very important is please make sure that attendance, you know, we can't learn if we're not here in school. So attendance is very important for us. So please make sure that all of your students are ready, that they get plenty of rest each night and that they are here and ready to learn each and every single day. One of our top priorities the second half is continuing to improve in reading and math. Our students have worked so hard and we want to continue with that success we had in the first half. Mr. Morrissey and Ms. Moreno have some additional information they'd like to share with you. So on behalf of myself and my team, we look forward to a strong second half and we wish all of our families a great finish to this school year. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Moreno here. Hi, I'm Isabella, I'm a sixth grade student at the good school. Hi, I'm Mason, we're fifth grade students at the good school. So we're here today talking about all of the fun and amazing things that we have planned for the rest of the year. Did you know that we are going to have a school dance? Really? We are? Yes, Miss Moreno and Miss Haynes are planning a super Valentine's Day party for us. I can't wait. That sounds like fun. Hey guys, did you hear about the next time and challenge? I did. Can you tell us more? Yes, students can earn extra recess if they go on their iReady pathway for 45 minutes a week. Speaking of our writing, we really need to meet our reading and math goals for the end of the year. Right, Mason? Yes, we just need to make sure that we're in school every day and learning the most that we can. Do you think we could do it? Yes, we, we got, got this. In anticipation of potential inclement weather and to ensure the safety and continuity of learning for our students, District 99 has formalized an e-learning plan. Here's what you need to know. The regular school day schedule will be followed. Online platforms like Google Meets, Google Classroom, and Schoology will be used for communication and instruction. An e-learning day will include a minimum of three hours of synchronous instruction and no less than five total hours of instruction in schoolwork. Attendance. Students may log into Google Meet, submit work, or complete online programs to earn credit for attendance. Students experiencing technical difficulties will be granted additional time to complete classwork that was missed. If a student submits classwork within three school days of his or her return to in-person instruction, he or she will be retroactively marked present. Computer and online access. All students should take home Chromebooks the day before potential inclement weather. Students in need of internet access have already been provided with mobile hotspot devices. Special education. Special education students will continue utilizing apps that improve accessibility to curriculum and instruction. Support will be provided by the program supervisor, resource teacher, a general education teacher, or a co-teacher. Related services, such as speech and social work, will continue as previously scheduled. Providers will virtually reach out to students. Students in our structured AIP and instructional self-contained classrooms will be provided with both online access to activities and a take-home bag of books and activities at the child's instructional level whenever possible. Multilingual learners. Students with specific language needs will have access to appropriate programming during e-learning days. Providers will virtually reach out to the students. E-learning day notification. Whenever possible, there will be an announcement by 8 p.m. the night before through an automated calling system, Facebook, email, and our District 99 website.